This movie shows how we can remove a tooth with a tightened surgical system. First, the broken part of the tooth is removed to provide a flat surface. Then we use increasing size drills to create an area for the post to be placed in the root canal space. By slowly increasing the size of the drills, we prevent fracture of the remaining root. The proper size post is then selected in order for the tray to be in the right position in relation to this post. The record line is selected in order for the tray to be in the right position in relation to this post. The record line must be at or above the height of the tops of the adjacent teeth. The post is screwed into the prepared canal space with a hand wrench. The tray is checked to make sure the record line is at the level of the tray opening. Then the impression of the adjacent teeth is taken to that level. The extraction tool is then fitted on the tray and post. By slowly turning the knob on the one end of the tool, the instrument lifts the post and of course the attached tooth with only a vertical force. As it lifts the tooth from the socket, it breaks the periodontal ligament that keeps the tooth in the socket. Now the extraction tool and the tray are removed. The tooth, which is loose in the socket, can be easily removed with light finger pressure. This is a very atraumatic way of removing a tooth without damaging the soft tissue or bone around a broken tooth.